Well guys, I know I was going to show you through this 200 and uh, show you a bit of progress. We got caught up, so I'll run out a bit of time, but we have finished it. Um, just going to run you through what we've done on it. Thought you'd want to have a bit of a squizzy into what we got up to for this one. Uh, so we do have brand new 200. In the black, looking absolutely awesome. So, dual bat setup, GME, UHF, and antenna. Steady Type X Pros on the front. We've done power to the rear, uh, Ando at the back for towing, and Ando in the rear with an accessory dual USB, and a voltmeter down there to keep an eye on the second battery. So, as you can see, our dual bat over in this corner. And then down in through the inspection point, which is right there, you've got your BCDC. That just allows you to be able to actually see the BCDC itself, the little unit, and you can keep an eye on what it's doing and all the readouts that are on that. You do have the voltmeter in the back for this one, but it just helps out. Uh, also, what I do like to do on these things is solar input. That's what we do like the BCDCs for. And as you can see, open the little inspection flap, and in there, there you go. We've got our solar there, ready to rock and roll. Type X Pros, like I said. Uh, we did do a jump start feature on this as well. So, jump start, spotlights just in here. And this awesome new little uh, switch panel that you can get. Uh, these do come with a little pocket down the bottom and you can get this new inlay that gives you the extra switches so it worked out really well in this case especially in the VX's and the Sahara's XRS handpiece version now I always like to run these off of the dual bat setups that way if you're at camp or wherever you are you can run your UHF without the fear of draining your start battery and if you've got people who are coming into the camp you can keep an eye on them uh, makes it really really simple and if anyone obviously ever forgets to turn it off, it doesn't matter if it runs on or not because it's not your start battery. Dual USB, accessory socket, and then we have redone his fridge plug to suit our little endo set up there. Never going to have a drama with connection or anything like that. Makes it really, really easy. Simple readout there of your volts. It's a good basic little setup that gets you going, gets the fridge cold, keeps everything all hunky dory i mean we do a lot of different things as well for these um off of the dual bat rack lighting you can utilize the dual battery for that um, but yeah these are a really popular thing that we're doing for the 200s now and running these under bonnet setups and the jump start features are a really really cool feature as well so definitely something to look at if you've got something like this especially with the push start button um, it is a good fail safe just wanted to show you that Wicked setup, wicked car. Love this thing. The black, the black is absolutely unreal. I mean, look at that. Woo. 